Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 94, December 13th, a beautiful time, a peaceful time, a time of learning, a time of embracing the journey and being in the know, knowing where you're going. That's what today represents to me. And to all my entrepreneurs and leaders that are listening to this podcast, welcome and thank you so very much for all your likes, your views, and your comments. Please keep them coming. Also, I will be going live on camera beginning January 2024, and I'll be doing more of the podcast on a more uh, consistent basis, uh, times I'm going to be doing more lives. So I think that I've done enough practice behind the scenes of just freestyling, talking, and just being me. So now it's time to up the game. So I'm going to be doing that. But let's talk about today. Let's talk about how beautiful (laughs) situations can be in the midst of the storm. Now, everyone is going through something. That's one thing that we all have in common, right? So if we are all going through something, we need to join together. We need to come together to talk about it, to smile about it, to embrace it, and how we can manifest it to work for our benefit. See, every single thing in this life is for our own good. Some things don't feel good for our good, but it is still mandatory for growth. It's mandatory for change. Sometimes it's time to cut the cords of relationships because if they hold you back, if they prevent you from being successful, if they make you doubt yourself, if they make you feel guilty about the past, then you need to let that shit go. I say that with a tinge of positivity. But sometimes in the reality of the lower vibration, people only understand that type of language. You know, I try not to go low. (laughs) I try to keep it high and upbeat, but sometimes you just got to tell these people who you are and how you've grown and what you're not giving up. So people can activate the very things that they think they remember about you. Everyone is in the growing changes and stages of life, whether they want to recognize it or not. Imagine an individual who is uh, traumatized by at the age of, say, 14. And imagine this person growing through their adult years. Now, they can either take this trauma and they can build on it. They can heal from it. They can get the counseling. They can get positive support. You know, I was just reading a uh, uh, something on Facebook that said the best way to be a success is to surround yourself with people who are like you or or in a position that's greater than where you are right now, where you're trying to go and share so much with them. Keep everything at the forefront of that relationship and grow and be real with those groups of people because other people who are not for your good will do things like take information that you're going through and try to sabotage it. Perfect example. We had a few issues going on (laughs) last week as a nonprofit. I mean, everything from a a preliminary foreclosure to uh, uh, things happening around the, you know, locations and the properties and people just being very devastatingly disrespectful. And all I did was I, 
I smiled in the midst of the chaos and I said, I am grateful for my journey. And as soon as I said that, it was the emergence of what chaos was within me, things that I worried about, things that I brought into existence for me, just to see what it was that I needed to clear out. You know, it's almost the end of the year. You kind of want to clear things out, right? But what we had, to, what I learned, entrepreneurs and, and leaders, is that I was going to do it with a smile. I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wasn't going to give up. And I, along with my higher power and those people who support me with every tinge of their being, who believe in me, who gives me that push and says, you can do it. I got you. I'm here to support you. You're doing a great job. You know, you got what it takes to do what you do. And you're a, you're a giver and you don't give up. See that right there turned the foreclosure into an opportunity to partner with the whole county. <laughs> Who does that? Where does that happen? It happens in the mindset of a manifester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not about a bragging, right? You heard me go through the scenarios. You heard the situations happening in the podcast week, day by day. As I'm, I'm doing a podcast, I'm going through it. But you didn't hear anything about anything specific until it's over. And that's how you got to move. Leaders and entrepreneurs, when you're having relationship issues in your home, don't share it. Don't share it. Not even with the people who you believe is going to be the support for you. Because where energy flows, energy grows. So you don't want to talk about all the negative going on in your life. You, you want to talk about why you're grateful that you have the strength, the stamina, and the wherewithal to, to go through it in a productive and positive way, not even fight it. It's, it's not even something that you have to put true energy into, especially if you're on the path of right. And that's how you know you're on the path of right. Okay. There's another situation that took place and it was so amazing how, you know, the, the distractions and the things that took place in this example. But what I say to you is the universe is so crafty that no matter, and you can tell that based on the week, people are wishing things or seeing things or you know, manipulating the situation, dark magic, if you will. Um, that that energy that wishes bad upon someone, you can tell that it's being suggested in the universe. And what goes out there, and this is what I want you to understand too, what goes out there <laughs> has a potential possibility of coming back. But here's the thing. If, you know, before I used to return to sender anything that, you know, distracts my life to the point where it shows me that someone is wishing ill or negativity upon me. So I say to myself, I say to my higher power, and I say to me within, we're going to ignore this. We're not even returning it to sender. We're going to bury this so the universe can and the planet can heal this energy and rebirth it so it can grow into something greater, you know? And when I do that, it seems to work phenomenally. And I begin to see, you know, things like people show up that I haven't seen in a while and they come with this negative vibe towards me and the very thing that uh, I was resonating in my mind shows up, they start to communicate on it and they tell on themselves. That's why good can't be in the presence of bad. Bad can't be in the presence of good. Not for too long because they're going to show who they are. They're going to show themselves up. Yeah, so I've decided that that energy no longer attracts me. Before it would be so anxiety-driven and prone to 
the guilt and all of the, the past mistakes and all of the, all of that. <laughs> but I now look at the greatness of who I am today. And I want you to do the same. If we look at the greatness of who we are and we're just grateful for being who we are, guess what? Those energy portals will not have rise to us because basically what it is, anyone can wish ill upon you, but it's the receptors that you use to armor yourself to already feel the energy come at you to be able to work it out. And you have to get your sleep. You have to be hydrated. You have to make sure that you have the right amount of, of goodness happening in your life. So when those chaotic moments show up, you have the right and the ability to calm it and say, be still. Now, some people who don't understand this is like, how can you make it, you know, someone else's energy towards you be still? You can make it be still by practicing your level of elevation, your level of acceptance, your level of resistance, your level of, I see it, I observe it, but I am not engaging. And that's how you do it. So the fake individuals will only be able to be fake immediately. You won't even have to go through a whole, there was a time where I would have to go through months of people, you know, I had no discernment. I had no ability to see anything but the good in others. Oh, they're nice. Um, they're okay. You know, my grandmother would always tell me, you are the most gullible person. You got to get a stronger backbone. And when I worked for the Youngstown Police Department, I will never forget Sergeant Scott telling me I needed to get a stronger backbone. I was too weak. I was too giving, I was too caring, I was too knowledgeable. And, you know, even to the degree of what took place at one of the properties last night, how I was so, I was more engaged. And of course, as an entrepreneur, you have to be more engaged with what takes place in your scenarios. So if you are the leader, if you are the person in charge, yeah, you have to care about what is going on and you can't just manipulate just because adults say I'm okay and everything is fine does not mean that that's a safe environment and you have to make sure that you're doing what you need to do in order to make it safe for everyone because sometimes people can have a childlike mentality and sometimes people can play the role in order to get something they want and other times people are just honest and true and real and they can manifest just as good as anyone else and so they do some people can use the situation specifically to manipulate just to say oh this will never happen this won't be this is not going to take place tonight mm-hmm Say your lights go out and it's cold outside and you're sitting there wondering, well, are they going to fix it? Are they going to fix it? And then estimated time comes one hour and then it's an hour or two later. And then it's like, okay, what do we do? How do we support our client base? How do we support our people within that property? These are the things that are valuable that you must think about regardless of what someone else says. It's the law. It's the way that it should be. And it's the way that, you know, things should occur. Now, there are circumstances where it's still comfortable. It's still okay. But we have to be discerning and mindful of what we put into existence in order to take place for us to make sure that we're doing what we need to do. So there's no lawsuits. There's no reports. There's no need for police to be involved or 
media to be involved in order to show that something to, you know, how they like to blow things out of proportion. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, we, we have to be mindful of how we're going to allow, how we're going to allow another person to influence us and how much that influence is going to take precedence within the way that we see them and the way that we see ourselves. Because a lot of people, you know, can literally be careful of the people around you when things are happening in critical times and critical purpose. What is going on is their energy is fueling something. They see something they want. They see you in a position that you're in. And so they wish ill against you. And sometimes you will see crazy things happening during the, during the time that this person is around you. And then you see that this has not been going on. It's, it's like one situation after another, after another, what they do is they bring that negativity to the table, to the forefront. And if you let them allow them to enter into your presence, you're going to be presented with all that they can give you. And that is the negativity. So things start falling apart. Now, you know, you're having issues with this. You're having issues with that. This wasn't happening before, but now it is. Because, and you're not supposed to be. The discernment is telling us we are not supposed to engage with that person. They bring the critical errors of their dysfunction to the table. And now everyone is dealing with the dysfunction of the individual. Not that, oh, it's a, you know, and, and, and some people can literally tell you, I got something on me. I got something on me. I can't shake. Yeah. That's that negativity. That's that hate. That's that animosity. That's that. I want to uh, pull you down because I'm miserable. Who wants to be around that? Who wants to who wants to deal with that? Not me. <laughs> Not me in 2023. Not me in 2023. But there's so much more gra gratitude, attitude, and perspective in 2024. We're going to get more and more and more of that. And that's what I want to put on this podcast today. I don't even know what I'm going to title it. I think I'm just going to title it December 13th. Because this is a time where a lot of things are aligning up and we've gone through the lesson. We've learned so much. We've empowered ourselves with so much wisdom, so much knowledge, so much intellect that we're really mindful and careful of that very thing that we need to know. So people aren't going to be able to get to you the way that they used to. And you should be considered a, when you go outside and you do things, people should be like, oh, they should look at you as superstar status. You're not going to be out there just to be out there. You know, think about it. When you limit yourself to people, people begin to wonder what's taking place in your world. What's going on in your life? And that's what we need. We need that because we don't need to be around every energy because we have no idea what karmic vibration they're pursuing, they have to go through, they're engaged in, or what drama they're focused on. We don't know. So when a person shows you who they are immediately attached to the reality that the discernment is teaching you that you need to separate, separate. When you divide, you conquer. So it, that goes in the same mentality of dividing and conquering that negative energy from positivity. Now, I'm not saying that every day is going to be easy. It's not because sometimes we can be our own mirror reflection of the very things that we go through. We see ourselves in real time, in the space and time when we're doing whatever, and we're bringing it upon ourselves. Like going back to the person who you know 
has ruined a lot of your career and then giving them a second chance and thinking that's okay. No, it, they're they're going to bite you harder the second time than they did the first time. A snake is a snake is a snake. So there was a sto- story of a snake who was, you know, doing what it does, <clears throat> crawling around on the ground, right? And uh, then it looked like it was in half, cut in half or whatever. And so this this person who was caring and loving They ended up, you know, mending the snake back together and, you know, nurturing the snake and building it up. And, you know, the next thing you know, the snake bites the kind person. And the kind person says, well, why did you bite me? He said, you know, I was a snake. This is what I do. I don't do anything but poison you. So why would you, you know expect anything different for yourself just because you were kind to me don't mean a damn thing so being mindful of who you give your kindness to is going to be a reflection of how it's going to come back to you how your kindness is going to be returned i'm not telling you not to do nice things i'm telling you when enough is enough it is enough you know, some people can can take kindness for weakness and continue to keep playing the role of victim and keep playing the role of needy and clingy and dependent only to see how far you're going to go with it. Mm-hmm. And when we do that, stand up for ourselves in the midst of being used Oh, yeah, people are going to fall off like flies. They're going to fall off, baby. They're going to fall off just like apples on an apple tree when it's time to harvest. You don't even got to pick them. They're going to fall. And pay attention to that. Pay attention to who's not there in the midst of your chaos. Pay attention to who's really there in the midst of your chaos, whether it's spiritually, subliminally, whether it's physically, whether it's emotionally, whether it's financially. Be mindful of the people who are there because that is value. That is your pricelessness, letting people show you how much of a, you know, of, of, a, of a value you are to them. And when we value ourselves, others will value us as well. And when we are valued, guess what? Oh, my God. It's such a great feeling. It's so much better than being knocked down. It's so much better than being ridiculed. It's so much better to, than being told that you're not going to be able to conquer this. This is too big for you. This is just too big for the person telling you it's too big for you because they can't see beyond their scope of basic. They can't see beyond that basic. So this video, this podcast is more or less for me to sit back and rewind it and listen to it myself to reemerge all the things that tried to take me down when I was climbing the ladder of success. See, when we climb that ladder of success, everybody ain't trying to climb it with us. And they're like, oh my God, if you get up there and show your behind and do the right thing and stand up to, you know, goodness and be universal and be spiritual and be financially blessed, then they're going to sit down and look at us and say, well, if she did it, you could do it. So I don't want you to show me up. This is what they're saying at the basic level. They don't want us to show up or show what they call out because that brings them to a point where they got to put up or shut up. And they've been talking all this stuff about what you could not do just because they weren't trying to do it. (laughs) Not time, not going to be able to do it. Can you do it? Not going to be able to do it. So what I'm saying, entrepreneurs and leaders in your life, this is your journey. You walk it because you rocking in the shoes you're walking in and don't nobody know what your feet feel like. Do you have Dr. Shoals in them? Are they fitting tight? Are, is your feet a little swollen today? But just keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in. Watch how fast you manifest the things in which you're trying to do. 
There is no way that I could sit back and say that I expected 2023 to look like this for me. And 2024 is going to be even more because I am putting myself in a position of that power. And I'm not just talking it. I'm not faking it to make it. You check me out. You check me out December 2024 and watch what I'm telling you I'm engaged in. I don't even know at this point. I just know that I have the energy and the vibe and the shine that I can do it. I can do it. And you can too. And you know what? And you know what? Many people are going to tell you you can't. Entrepreneurs that it's not worth it. Those nights are long and cold and difficult. The kids are acting up while you're trying to get that degree. Uh, people are not, you know, honoring you because they're cutting your hours at work. And how can you do this and that and that and this? But you keep rocking in the shoes you're walking and watch what will take place. These are chronicles of a nonprofit and basically chronicles are the highs and the lows in the industry of what we title business development, entrepreneurship, leadership, basic living and relationships and all of that. And let me tell you, you can build yourself to be anything and all things you've ever wanted in your life. And that's it. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for walking. You, you swagging it, baby. Keep it moving. Move them hips. Or you know what? Put that, put that pimp style out, young man. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? You walk, whether you in your Air Force Ones, whether you in your Jordans, whether you in just the Walmart specials, baby. You keep it moving. You keep it moving and watch how good the Most High will bless and consistently impact your life because you are doing what you should be doing. And it always feels good. And it always, you know, we'll have distractions, but we'll be able to continue to say, I love my vibrant journey. And this is going to be a success. I love my success journey. Keep saying that. I love my success journey. I love my success journey because in that success, you have in empowered and conquered what others said you could not do. And you ain't even got a smear it in their face that is done. <laughs> With that, peace, and we'll see you next time.